Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be all about my car. Um, I'm going to give it a little clean and then I'm just going to give you like a car tour because if you want to buy this car then you're going to want to know what it's all about. So firstly I'm just uh, spraying my car with a load of water just to wet it. Um, and then I'm going to grab my sponge and give it a good old clean. All I use is just like a car shampoo that I got from the pound shop and it does the job quite well actually. So let's just uh, spray it. I changed the setting on the hose pipe to do the wheels because they are caked in black rubbish. little kiss for you and um, so here I'm just levering up my car with the car shampoo and giving it a good scrub it's really annoying because when I'm at work sometimes I park under a tree and like when you park under a tree it just gets really sticky and you get really sticky patches on your car so I was trying to scrub them off but they just wasn't coming off <laughs> oh hey <laughs> Scrub, 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 scrubbity dub dub, having a little sing to myself, and then I just rinse all the soap off with the hose pipe, and then that's pretty much my whole car done. I then have to go onto the wheels. This is like the worst bit. I hate doing this because it gets so gammed up with black rubbish, and it's like super hard to get off. <laughs> So for the inside of my car, I literally grab all the things from the inside of my car and just put it on the passenger seat just so that all the stuff's together and then I can sort it out later. So I chuck that all on there. I then take my mats out, give them a good shake, put them on the floor so that I can hoover them up. I'll then grab a bin bag and attach it to my door so that it doesn't fly away in the wind so that I can put all the rubbish in there that I need to. So then the little hoover comes out and this is really annoying because the hoover actually broke on me so I didn't actually get to hoover properly but if I was going to do it properly and my hoover was working I'd do all of the insides of my car so I'd do all the seats, all the footwells, I'd do the mats with it but unfortunately it broke and it didn't let me use it anymore <laughs> so it was a half-hearted job but that wasn't my fault. So this is how dirty and disgusting my car actually is and I'm really ashamed about it and this is why I'm cleaning it. So I just grabbed my Zaflora spray and I put some, a capful of Zaflora into a spray bottle and then mixed the rest with water. Here I'm spraying the doors down but you can see the wind is blowing it back in my face but it smells great so it's fine. So I just cleaned down like literally the whole insides with this Zaflora spray and it makes everything smell delicious and it makes it super clean and shiny so I'll do the doors, I'll do everything on the inside, the steering wheel, all of the um, interior bits and it just makes it smell super 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 nice. So I always have like music on when I'm cleaning the inside of my car because I can have a little sing song while I'm cleaning away. I'll clean the windows with the flora as well. I'll use a bit of kitchen roll just to wipe around the windows. I do the inside and the outside with the flora and it's good because it doesn't make them smeary, which is great because some cleaners you use on windows makes it really smeary and then you just can't see anything out of them. <laughs> Here I have one of my top tips, if you use a like a rubber soled shoe and rub it onto your car mats it gets all of like the grime and hair and stuff together and then you can just pick it off whereas if you try and use a hoover it doesn't pick up all of the hair and stuff and obviously you have hair and your pets have hair so it just makes it really easy to get off and that is my car clean and complete and it would all be beautiful and super super finished if I actually had a hoover that worked but I didn't so please ignore that oh smells so good I did a half decent job <laughs> a half cleaned car I'm gonna give you a little tour around my car because why not? If you're thinking of buying a Mini, you might want to know what you're going to get. So, I've actually had this Mini for eight or nine years now, and it's been great. I've loved it, and I've not wanted a new car since. Well, to be fair, I did want this, like, Mazda MX-5 at one point, but, I mean, that was probably just a little dream of mine. So, I thought I'd give a little tour around. So... Here you have, obviously, a steering wheel, because, I mean, you need to steer when you're driving a car. <laughs> These are my keys, firstly, 
and the mini keys look like this which is actually really weird um when i was given my keys when i first bought my car i was like what is that um but basically i have all my key rings on here these are just my my house keys and just a few little key rings and then a little thing to put around my neck if i ever need to do that and that is handy actually because when it's in my bag i have to look for this and i can find my keys really easily but this there's this little slot right here can you see that you put your key into and then it comes on and to start the car you have to put your clutch down and then press this start button here and then it starts the engine so this is my view from when I'm driving in my car <laughs> I've got my steering wheel these you have like your um, indicators and then you've got like your lights you've got your um, fog lights, um, no, your high beam lights and like all your little toggles and stuff that you need. These do the back windscreen and your window wipers. So they're handy dandy to have because when it rains. Okay, so these are my little toggle walls and woggles. Um, down here you have, um, well, I tried to hoover, so forgive me if it's still very messy, but my hoover ran out because my brother decided to run the battery out on it and break it. So I didn't get to finish my hoovering but these are the pedals and this is the accelerator pedal which is a bit weird because like normally pedals attach to the top but this is like a go-kart pedal which is really cool so I kind of like that it's quite comfy as well I thought it'd be really weird but it doesn't really feel any different to be honest this bit here this is just a bit to put your foot on if your foot needs a rest your accelerator your brake and your clutch and then we come up here this is what i like about the minis i like these like really big retro um dials at the front so this is the bit where you've got all your music i'm playing a cd at the moment but obviously you've got your radio you've got six different channels that you can tune in and then obviously you can change them up if you want you've got your speed monitor which is huge this tells you how much petrol you've got and this arrow is really handy because it tells you which side your petrol cap is on which is really handy because sometimes if you forget you can just look at that and you're like oh it's on the left hand side um this tells you if you haven't got your seatbelt on which obviously i haven't got on because i'm just sitting in here i'm not going anywhere and it will also bleep up here in the middle of your steering wheel if anyone's not got their seatbelt on and it won't stop until they put their seatbelt on which i think is great because it encourages everyone to put their seatbelt on and i hate it when people don't wear them like why you're not cool don't do that <laughs> here's my little mini logo what a cutie and then in here as well it tells you how many miles an hour you're going which i think is really handy because it's kind of weird to like if you're driving it's kind of weird to keep looking over there to see what speed you're going so it's a digital one here which is really handy which i really really like also tells you the temperature and your mileage and you can change this by pressing this little button here and you can change like all the settings on here and do whatever you do but i kind of just leave it the same you've also got the time if you want it there but i normally keep the weather there um over here you've got yourself a little thing which i need to clear out actually because it's a bit of a mess but you can keep little bits and pieces in there so oh that's handy you've got speakers inside the door these door handles nobody knows how to use and it's very annoying when i have a passenger in my car because they try and get out of the car and you kind of have to go twice to open it and they just try and pull it and open it like if my car if i haven't turned the engine off and you try and open the door you have to like do it twice and then it opens whereas everyone just tries to like pull it and they're like yanking it i'm like oh my god you're gonna yank off my door handle please just be careful like just open the door it's not hard <laughs> these little dials down here are to lock the doors like this boop boop and then this is for fog lights these are your windows down here when no when someone comes in my car as well nobody knows how to open their windows they're like where's the window opener but it's over here which is kind of weird i know but that's where they put them and i kind of like it there because you can do both the windows if you want to do it you've got cold hot and that's how you turn it on so this is how you turn on the um the blow the air blow then you can change the direction of the airflow you can put um 
click these two which circulates the air and this one does the back windscreen as well so that's quite handy when it's all steamed up and cold and you need to clear it it goes through the lines on the back window and clears it for you and um, speakers you've got two speakers on each door so you've got one in the door and one down here and the same on the other side in the back the speakers are like in the panel here and yeah you can get some really loud sounds in here if you want i don't really i'm not really into loud stuff loud music while i'm driving because it kind of i don't know it's a bit off putting but yeah these are my back seats not really much to say about them you can control the uh how high or low you want the little headrest bit same here you just push in the button and it goes up or down and what else can i show you cds Woo! oh here down here i keep my change I keep an aux lead cable which I can connect under here and plug, plug in my phone um, I keep a little hairbrush and then obviously a phone charger because my phone is rubbish and it runs out of battery all the time on the mini you have um, you have the reverse which is over this side which I thought was really weird to begin with because I don't know you have to like kind of push it all the way past one and then up and it's kind of kind of weird but you get used to it and it's like it's just normal um, and it has six gears which is handy because I don't know I've never had six gears before this car and this is great um, you've got your little pockets to put stuff in there's no sort of like thing in the middle do you know like some cars have like that thingy in the middle like to put stuff in there's no things but there's a little cup holder here two cup holders there you can put cups in the back as well if you want I have my three little friends this one here he is a little squishy and his eyes coming off because I squished him too much. This is a little unicorn that my friend gave me and she, this unicorn is really cute because it has a rainbow mane. And then I got this polar bear from the zoo that I went to and there was polar bears there and I was really excited about it. Um, I have three smelly things that don't really smell anymore. Um, two chub chub ones, I think one strawberry, one's apple and then I got this one from a car wash that I went to ages ago. Gear stick. Hello gear stick. Not a gear stick. Handbrake. This is a handbrake. Hello handbrake. You can control your um, wind mirrors and adjust them. So if you wanted to like move them, you can just move this toggle and it changes them. Um, down there is to open the bonnet. So if you want to open the bonnet, you have to pull that and it like uncatches it and then you can open the bonnet up. And yeah. It's all good. So that was my little car tour. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you all soon. Bye.